morning, Washington Academy. Can you please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please join me for a moment of silence. Hey, Washington family, it is I, Mr. Waloka, and today is Thursday, January 28th, 2021. Good morning, Wildcats. Mrs. Hornbeck here. Happy Thursday. Buenos dias, Wildcats. Mr. Nicholas. Hoy es jueves el 28 de enero. Enero. De enero. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Nicholas. Nice. All right. How about we kick it off with a joke? Let's do it. Ready. <laughs> All right. What did the icy road say to the truck? <laughs> Want to go not... for a spin? <laughs> oh. Oh. That's scary. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> that is scary. <laughs> uh, know who else might want to do a spin for their birthday? Huh? <laughs> like that transition? That's uh, good. That good. would be, we'll kick it off with Logan Brown. Happy birthday, Logan. Happy birthday. Awesome. Happy birthday, and happy birthday to Desiree Leon. Happy birthday to Scarlett Morris. Nice. Happy birthday to Kimberly Rodriguez. And one final happy birthday to Luke Smith. Happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday, happy everybody. Birthday. So other things that we need to celebrate today is the holidays, and I've got two for us today. First one is actually a Jewish holiday called Tu Bishvat. And this holiday celebrates the maturation of trees. So according to Jewish law, for the first three years of the fruit ripens, so grows on a tree, it is not kosher. And kosher is what the type of food that Jewish people prefer to eat. So it shouldn't be eaten by, if it's not kosher. So this fruit is known as orla. And then the fruit that is ripe on today's holiday or afterwards and is in its fourth year of being ripened may be eaten. Nice to so speak. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know that about that uh, religion. But speaking of fruit, the other holiday, my favorite food, and I know I've been telling kids at lunch, is blueberries. And today, because I love blueberries, I always put them on my pancakes. And today happens to be blueberry pancake day. <laughs> so that's pretty exciting. I had a blueberry muffin instead of a pancake today, but I still feel like I celebrated. So hopefully you guys get some <laughs> blueberries on your pancakes today. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, now I'm really hungry. I want a blueberry muffin or blueberry pancakes or just some Yum. blueberries. Just, <laughs> just sounds delicious. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, everybody, you are doing wonderful job. Uh, really love seeing you guys in the hallways and seeing, um, you know, the smiling faces. You, know, you can see in the eyes that you're smiling and you guys are having a good time and you're all you're all being kind. And I really appreciate seeing students and you're waving and you're saying hello. You're, you're being respectful to your adults. You are choosing to be that kind person so please continue to do so uh it, it's just gonna if everyone's kind we're all gonna love coming back to school here and, and like i was telling everybody the first week it's all we want to have pride we want to be proud to be a wildcat and so uh, that starts with wanting to come to school and the easiest way to do that is if everyone is just kind to one another and so keep up the great work everybody we hope you have a terrific thursday and stay washington strong bye Hey, and we totally forgot, we are inside for recess today. It is still really, really cold outside. So everybody, we are inside for recess, which means that mass breaks are not allowed outside either. So uh, inside for recess, hope everyone stays nice and warm. I'm hoping for some warmer weather in the future so that way we can get back outside. All right, this time for real. Have a good one. Bye, everybody.